Welcome inside our Los Angeles studio. The Miami Heat lead 51-39 at the half. Clearly, Stephen A. Smith knew something that Bob Myers, Michael Wilbon, myself, Malika Andrews did not. I imagine that the Miami zone has to be somewhere at the top of these scouting reports that I know you've taken a look at, Bob, and yet we still lead well, Philadelphia. I think Stephen A. is a pretty connected guy, and when you make these predictions, he should have. you must have known something that Joel was not 100%. You're supposed to share that. With us, I, I actually did. I did say <laughs> well, to you. I, I yeah. literally said to you. Yeah, but I don't not, listen. You I, make I, sure. you listen <laughs> I can't. You a lot of stuff attention. you say, I just uh, exactly yeah. what you just acknowledged. Correct. You know that I kind of know. You, got you understand stuff. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, and I tried to tell you. I said I'm not talking basketball. Okay. I'm talking health. Yeah. You would think that would have been a clue for a, 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 a four-time champion executive. Well, so what? Okay, but Philly's got to do something. Thirty-nine. This is a not. This is a 1980s. Shooting you know, less against than the Pistons sort of game. Free. What is that? Yeah. They got. There's got to be some adjustment yeah, that, uh, the that Nick is, is going to make against that zone. Yeah, that's supposed to. Because you're going to stay with it, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, why would they change? They wouldn't. Were they shooting? Shouldn't. Thirty-two percent, three of eighteen from three. Um, you know what the zone does? It, it makes it hard for MB to operate. And when he has operated, we talk about the health. We were joking, but he hasn't been able to that finish finishing. those bunnies. That that is a health thing. He, he finishes that stuff if he's healthy. Uh, but, you know, missing those layups, he misses, makes those two layups. It's, it's a six-point game or eight-point he, game. He's missing layups because he has no lift. They're coming up, sneaking up behind him. He looks lackadaisical, incredibly lethargic. Before the game, he's wrapping his hands around his knee. That was worrying. They're yeah. watching him, okay? And then on top of it all, there's two ways. You know this better than me, Bob. There's two ways that you can get to a dude that's physically ailing with his lower extremities. You either make them run or you constantly bump them every chance you get. You put a body on them. You make them expend more energy with their legs. That's what they're doing with them beating. And unfortunately for the Philadelphia 76ers, you should have came into this game looking to use them as a decoy so Maxi and others could elevate their level of play and excel. They tried to depend on them a little bit too much. That was a mistake, but there's still a second half still to go. Still second half, um, but you're right. The Heat is not the team you want to play when you're not 100%. They, they're a hard team to play. They are physical. They are all, all the whole game coming at you. And, and it's not, like I said, if he clearly would be playing. He's not 100%. He's the easiest way to say it. You can see it. Clearly. And Jimmy Butler is just such a tough player. We saw him go down in Ooh, a scary, scary moment, gripping his knee earlier in the game and come back. And just he's controlling it from every aspect. I do feel like with 20 seconds to go here, we need to check on Stephen A. Because this is the game that decides who the New York Knicks play. Like I said, we ain't skate. You understand? And I, I'm telling you right now, we, we, you know, we, we want Miami. You know, Miami bounced us out in six games last year. You know, ain't nobody running. Ain't nobody running. Let's go. Let's go. Don't, don't you know, let, let's go. Miami. Yeah. I really be careful what you ask for. Whatever.